Yeah. What you uh, drink? Well, eating too, maybe, but uh, but drinking, that's first of all. Welcome, folks. I'm Simitar, and this is the best Skyrim build series. Unique modded character builds aimed on both incredibly competitive and fun gameplay as well as immersive roleplay. Today meet the Tipsy Mixer, unique combination of crazy bomber and always drunken savage. He is worshipping wines and meat, poisons and alchemical explosives. Tipsy Mixer is looking weak, but just let him attach himself to the bottle. He doesn't possess any outstanding skills in fighting, smiting, enchanting, but drunken rage is compensating all of that, sometimes making miracles. His wounds are healing in a moment, he rises a warhammer twice bigger than himself with one hand, and his poisons can kill a giant in a blink of an eye. This class has also several different playstyles, which is another feature. Well, let's get to the details. Race Argonian for this build, Argonians is a great choice from both gameplay and roleplay aspects. Drunk as hell lizard throwing alchemical bombs, what can be better? But jokes aside, Argonian racial abilities are playing in a great synergy with this build. Potions will be greatly increasing your attributes in multiple ways – skills, speed, regeneration, and so on. At the same time, Argonians' passives allow them to move much faster after swimming and have greatly increased regeneration at low health, which will stack with other bonuses from potions and play as utility and life-saving passive in critical situations. The greater active power, Caustic Speed, is decreasing both armor and magic resistances of the enemy, serving as a great debuff for stern enemies and bosses, synergizing with explosives and corrosive poisons. Lastly, Tipsy Mixer is available to use this power much more often than once per day, making it several times more effective and usable even in regular battles. Standing Stone, Steed this build is heavily relying on potions, you will be consuming them as breathing, so you will constantly have couple hundreds of them in your inventory besides the general items and of course tons of ingredients. This in turn relies heavily on carry weight and exploration. And from this view, Steed is the best choice ever. It helps with exploration on the map, increases your speed and carry weight. This build doesn't need to max all possible combat stats directly, and this utility stone is the best choice. Attributes. Here everything is quite simple. Invest in health and stamina in approximately 2 to 1 ratio. Deity. Starting from this build and all coming after this one, I will be also recommending a deity to worship using absolutely incredible Winter Sun, a religion mod from Inai Sheon, which is the same available for both PC and Xbox One. Recommended deity for Tipsy Mixer is Sanguine, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. First of all, he is greatly fitting this build from roleplay aspect, and secondly, these deity bonuses are playing great synergy with alchemy. Sanguine's blessing makes all beneficial, explain further, potions and ingredients 15% better. Worshipper passive ability gives you additional 50% regeneration speed to all three attributes if potion, food or ingredient is active. Now the perks. Tipsy Mixer is faster to build in terms of character level. It has only three main skills and just a few secondary perks from other trees. Main skills are Alchemy, Two-Handed and Light Armor. Alchemy is a core and most important one, so it goes first. Important side note. For this build, we need to combine Ordinator and complete Alchemy and Cooking Overhaul mods. While it is not a hard requirement, you need to do this to have both Ordinator perks and Kako Alchemical Grenades and new ingredients. This also sadly means that Xbox One players will have to play with Ordinator only, as Kako is not available for Xbox. Both Skyrim Legendary and Special Edition players though on PC will be absolutely fine. Patches are linked in video description. From the point of what to take, it is simple as duck. You need the Every 
damn perk from this skill tree. The synergy between and playstyles I will explain partially in this part and partially in gameplay demonstration. Take the basic perk and take physician perk as app to determine your profile potion. Choose the health type of potions. Now the branches. The most right one is all about poisons. More damage, more usages per poison, poisons will erode uh, enemies' armor and so on. This branch also has very powerful great power that decreases enemies' resistance to poison greatly, which stacks with other similar debuffs. It will help you greatly in fights with strong enemies and bosses. Second branch from the right is a stimulants branch. It's wrapped around giving you bonuses for consuming beneficial health, in our case potions or ingredients. Using beneficial potions and ingredients will increase your regeneration, movement speed, give additional bonuses to attributes, but the most crazy effect here is Witchmaster, which with 50% chance you will receive powerful side effect buff each time using a beneficial potion or ingredient. And Witchmaster effects have 50% chance to have side effects on themselves. To give a better presentation of it, here is how many side effects you can have from drinking only 7 potions. It's not much and you will never run out of them with this build. Or here is one of the most short-timed but strong side effects. Not bad, huh? And so on. The more potions or ingredients you will be using, the bigger amount of buffs you will have, from weapon skill, resistance or regeneration bonuses to short time damage immunities, berserk level of damage bonus or lightning strikes, for example. The middle and the next one left branches are completely utility ones, but they are also essential, because exactly thanks to them you will be able to produce such amount of potions and have those potions with such powerful magnitude. The middle and middle left branch you actually should study as soon as possible as this is your main investment. The sooner you will be able to make tons of potions, the sooner build will start to pay off. The most left branch is a secondary but very fun to use and greatly supportive feature. You can speed a small pool of oils of many different types, like fire oil, paralyzing oil, shock oil and so on. Those little pools will explode when struck by magic or explosion like your uh, chemical bombs for example, do damage and apply corresponding effect to the enemy. When fully learned, this branch will allow you to speed tens of pools during single fight, and even enemy mages will be often exploding themselves because of these traps. Light armor. Here, take everything besides the unarmed branch, obviously, and also do not take war dancer related perks as well as master light armor perk. Those ones are based on constant evasion, which this build doesn't utilize much. Light armor bonuses in Ordinator are highly roleplay wise and greatly fit in gameplay purposes of light armor too. You move faster, can dodge better, have increased movement speed, stamina regeneration and so on. Bonuses are not huge, but greatly cumulative with similar bonuses you will have from potions and Witchmaster effects. And with all that you sometimes will have like triple or even quadruple movement speed up to 10 times faster regeneration and so on. Two-handed. With the mad bonuses from potions and witch master, two-handed weapons mastery will turn your character into a furious berserker with insane damage. Two-handed is also highly synergizing with tipsy mixer. Some of two-handed top tier perks like Voice of Rage and Ruin, for example, will be extremely useful to use your special powers much more often than it is intended initially. It gives 4% per weapon swing chance to activate your currently equipped power, and both oil pools and caustic speeds are powers. Take all the perks here, but as for weapon specialization, unlike in previous builds, it is required to take the mace specialization. Why? Well, it is pretty simple. The pendulum perk makes sideways power attacks to hit all enemies in front of you. First of all, this will often just one-shot multiple regular enemies, because your physical damage itself will be often like multiplied up to five times by your drunken rage effects. But that also means the poison effects will be also applied to all enemies. And knowing the poisons made by you can have a damage like this, you're starting to get the vision of this, huh?
Secondary skills and they are absolutely optional are alteration and enchanting. It is not possible and doesn't have any sense to master absolutely every perk in the game. But when you will have some spare perk points on higher levels, I advise to put a few into base utility perks in alteration to get minor bonuses to attributes, resistances and additional buff via Velloc Dormant Arcana, ability to improve your incredible self-buffing potential even more. Choices for this perk are of course up to you totally, but I am also showing recommended picks for them in the video. For enchanting, take the few basic perks when you will have a chance in late game. You will not be able to master them all of course, but even some basic boosts to your enchantments will be a good help. Spells and enchantments. As in most of cases, choices for those moments may vary and are a matter of taste of course, but if you want to follow my philosophy of the build, follow the recommendations in video now. So the enchantments. Helmet. Take less damage at low health enchantment. Gauntlets – two-handed damage bonus. Boots – movement speed bonus to stack with other speed bonuses. Armor – chance to restore attributes per second. Rings – magic resistance. Amulet – chance to restore attributes per second. Side note, you can see that total amount of magic resistance from items is pretty low, but we will not need a lot of it from enchantments as up to 50% of passive resistances you will be able to utilize through potions. Spells Tipsy Mixer is not reliant on spells, doesn't need them actually and moreover doesn't have any higher skills in them. That's why the only recommendation that's going here is a Kato Recital buff structure that consists mostly of basic spells. First one is of course a flash spell, to gain some bonus armor, as in light armor it is pretty hard to hit the defense cap. Second, Rayanus Fins to improve your racial swimming speed even more and give you absolutely overpowering speed advantage near water. Third one is pretty optional and it's up to you, but I would recommend to add any basic clock spell. Now the base gameplay pillars. As you may have already guessed, Tipsy Mixer is constantly consuming something – potions, ingredients, drinks and so on. The base of our insane drunken rage is a combination of potions and drinks effects, witch master side effects and side side effects and various synergizing buffs. So I would just personally recommend to bind all base potions like fortify skills, attributes, regeneration etc. on a single hotkey to use them instantly. Secondly, remember that quality of potion or ingredient does not matter for witch master side effects. You just need to consume it, so to always keep yourself on the edge of side effects but not waste most expensive potions, just bind some low tier healing potions or not needed HP ingredients which you have in a high amount, and simply spam them from time to time during the battle when needed to maintain maximum amount of side effects. Important fact number 2. You can poison alchemical grenades. Grenades themselves are already a fearsome throwing weapon, but you can make them totally terrifying by poisoning them. Amount of combos here is huge. You can just poison both grenades with instant poisons to inflict huge poison damage on impact in addition to elemental damage. Or you can poison one grenade type with poison aversion and second grenade type with lingering poison damage to have its effect tripled and looking on enemies losing hundreds of hit points in a blink of an eye, dying in agony. The choice is up to you. Our always drunken lizard has pretty diverse playstyle. Want to do this in a bright and fancy way? Throw a rain of poisoned explosives on enemies' heads and spit toxic oils everywhere. Want to act like a savage on steroids? No problems. Drunk couple of dozens of potions and wine bottles in one fell swoop and become stronger than a hulk, smashing everyone in melee with huge yet poisonous warhammer. 
And of course, you can always switch between melee and tactical explosive combat styles anytime in the middle of a battle. Your ultra fast speed will always allow you to do this. But well, enough of words. Just a few demonstrations fighting various enemies of all types. Let's go.
that's it for now folks. I hope you enjoyed this build and hope it will bring a lot of joyful hours to your gameplay. Don't forget that all mods needed are linked in video description and check out other builds of this series for more unique playstyles. Make sure to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. And if you want to fund the channel's work directly, take a look at my Patreon page. Stay tuned guys and see you soon. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.